Right, I've returned for the final portion of this video. We have uh, flown most of the route and I'm just going to slide this over so you can see where we are. So we've taken off, departed, flown the bulk of the route. We're coming around here and our plan is to turn this way and around and make our uh, approach in here and that kind of stuff. So I'm 30,000 feet uh, and I'm going to start my descent. Uh, your descent is, is similar to what you would normally do it on any other normal descent. Um, I just look at the at this thing here. You know what? Before I get distracted, I should start descending. So I'm going to turn my descent down. Uh, I'm going to start going down, and you're going to see the aircraft is going to begin to descend. <coughs> Runway elevation is 130-ish uh, feet. So I'm going to descend down to 10,000. Uh, work me working my way down so here we go we're we're on our way down uh, we're going to descend a little quicker I think eh, probably around 1200 I think should do it and you can see uh, we are where we are in the world a little uh, let me just turn that back a little bit so you can see the little aircraft there. Um, it's showing you where we are in the flight plan, um, as I showed you on flight plan as well. But So we're going to make this turn, we're going to make this turn, we're going to make this turn, and we're going to come down here and get into our, uh, our runway over here. <coughs> so um, I haven't done this a bunch of times. Uh, I am still in the CL mode, in the control mode. Um, it is still adhering to uh, to the FMS um, performance, uh, uh, 290 um, knot uh, uh, mode. Uh, the managed descent is 285, uh, and so that's what it's attempting to manage here at 285. It's 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 holding it at 290, but close enough for me. Um, you can see we're starting our turn, um, and and I think what I'll do is I will uh, reduce the speed of this considerably, um, and I'll reduce it at 210, and see how that functions. I'm going to put out a little bit of speed brake. The other issue is uh, I've got to now get this thing slowed down. As I'm turning my NAPRO uh, turn, I, I've, I've only got about, uh, about 80 miles. And so I want to start to reduce some, some speed. Um, I think I'm going to take off that. I think I'm going to take off my uh, managed, whoops, my managed indicated speed. There it is. That's my indicated speed. So I'll bring that back down. Now I'm overriding the speed. Uh, my intentions are is to override the speed to the point where it'll slow me down, and it's starting to. Uh, you can see that it's starting to come down. I think that managed speed at 85 knots is just way too quick, and I'm not sure what the purpose of that is, but we're starting to reduce our speed. Um, we still are at 20, uh, 420, 4,000 feet, so we gotta, we've gotta, we really got to get this thing woved up. Um, and we're not going to... Um, I think we're going to bring our descent down a bit as well. Um, so I've got my uh, my um, um, throttle qua throttle auto throttle disabled. It's no longer in managed, managed as indicated by the little dot here. You don't see that little dot there. 
beside the beside the indicated speed here. Um, let me just zoom in so that those can understand what I'm talking about. Over here, you see this little dot for heading. It's still being managed, but my speed is not. I've got my auto throttle turned off, which is over here. Um, and so I'm in control of the of the throttle right now, and I'm starting to slow down, as you can see here. I um, I've got my uh, my spoilers out, uh, as you can see. So, um, because I'm, I'm trying to get myself wooed up, I am 12 miles from Bud, and then from Bud to the airport, I am 60 miles. So, I, I should be fine. I'm at 21,000. Um, I've, I've shaved off almost 10,000 feet already. So, I should be fine. Um, we can we speed that along, and I'm also reduced the the uh, speed um, so if I would like I could set my speed at 210 and I could I'm assuming arm the auto throttle um, so my auto throttle is armed at 210 and you can see the indicator over here is at 210. Now, it can't get there because my descent rate is such that it can't. I, I guess I could put more spoiler on to just wool it down a bit more. Let's see if that does it. It isn't. Well, it's trying to. I think my uh, descent rate is such that it's just it's I'm descending at such a rate of speed that it it just can't slow down and I guess I could uh, reduce that but I don't have a lot of <laughs> I don't have a lot of distance to to get myself down and then yet I'll find myself maybe um, in the other end of it being too too aggressive at this point you'd be better off to get yourself maybe a little lower sooner. Um, and so you have time to slow down and all those wonderful things. So we're we're getting it slowed down now. Um, my whole plan here is to get it slowed down to to 210 and kind of maintain a 210 knot speed, giving myself the the time needed to get down to the elevation. Or to the altitude that I that I want to be, right now you can see I'm I am 60 my basically 60 miles to the runway. I've made my final turn. Runway is out there somewhere. Um, um, but 60 miles should be enough to get me uh, to uh, 130 feet. So we'll just let it continue to tick along here. Um, we're gaining a little bit of speed, which is okay. Um, my intentions are, and so somebody can correct me if I'm wrong about this, but my intentions are to come in summers at around 130, 130, 140. Um, that's that's where I'm I'm intending to come in on on the runway at. Uh, if that's too slow or or if somebody says, well, why are you coming in so slow? Um, I try to come in slower than fast because I find myself at flare. I I always struggle with the flare. I, I end up climbing again, and so when I come in slower, I don't run that risk as much of that flare uh, making me climb. I think I'm going to, so I've shaved off uh, half of my altitude already. Um, and we can see, um, uh, 
All right, so you can see where I'm at, 14,000 feet. Um, I got 50 miles, so I, in 10 miles I knocked off um, about 9,000 feet, I think it was thereabouts. Um, we we'll, can go through the video transcript and see that, but I think it was about eight, 9,000 feet. So I may, I may actually be uh, still too coming and too high by the time I get there. We'll let that thing uh, tick down just a bit quicker. I've engaged the first stage of flaps. Uh, you can see that first stage of flaps is indicated here. If I were to be going faster than say 230 or two, yeah 230, I would be getting an overspeed. Um, but I've engaged the first stage of flaps. Forty three miles out, getting beneath ten thousand here shortly, so I will uh, put my landing lights on. Oops, on. There we go. Might be a little premature because I got four hundred feet, but I, I just want to get them down. Again, we are not we are not lining up for an ILS. Although this should be taking me almost in to the runway. Um, this isn't about doing an ILS landing. This is intended for um, just to show the th series of three videos to show that the A320 does fly, does fly well. And uh, uh, we shouldn't worry about how, whether or not it will fly uh, or as I've heard a lot of people say it's full of bugs and so forth. Um, you can see that if you watch the series of videos from the first video to this video, it's it's done a lot of things as you would expect or as sorry as I would have expected or anticipated. It's done those things. Um, I could um, see if I can zoom in on this. I'm looking over at my uh, my. Um, Plan G on the other monitor. Um, now to seventy six hundred. I'm going to start to reduce my descent. My guess is I'm still 36 miles away. I may not need to descend so aggressively. As I said, I thought it might happen that way. I have my indicated speed set to be 210, and I'm, I'm slightly beneath that, so I'm, I'm finding myself the need to retract my spoilers a little bit. Right, so out there, I'm going to Again, because this is not an exercise of um, scatter. Yes, I have. I'm going to set a clear sky. Uh, change the daylight settings just a bit. So you have a better view of the runway as we come in. Easier to see it and so forth. So we are um, still 30 miles out. So we're not going to stand a chance of seeing the runway. 
And um, I think what I'll do is I think I might turn this up just a tad. Bring it in a little quicker. So we're set to descend to 3200. Um, at which point we will we will begin we will stop our descent. We're 25 miles out. Again, as indicated, the runway is uh, 130 feet. Um, I think I can see the makings of it way out there. Right over there, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's that. And we're leveling off at 3,400. Changed it. Uh, I want to get a little closer. We're still 20 miles away. Some 10 miles away, I will. I will have myself um, better lined up. I'm. I'm. I am lining up, trying to line up for runway uh, port. There it is. So. That's my, my runway there, 19, it looks like. Um, sorry, 25. I guess it's not 19. It's 19 is coming the other way. 25 right is my intended runway that I'm trying to come in on. And, um, and I'm more or less lined up for it. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm perfectly lined up for it, but I'm more or less lined up for it. Holding my 3,400. Um... Uh, I should get up after the gas just a bit here. I'm going to disable my auto throttle completely. Um, and I'm now in control of the throttle. I see I've gotten a little slower than what I'd like to be. Um, that's where I'd like to be, at the S there. Summer's in that area. Now, some people are going to say that I'm coming in too slow, and some people might say, why do you do this? Why do you do that? Uh, this is this is only how I do it. Uh, again, I don't know if this is the right way to do it. I haven't done as much research on the A320 as I've done, let's say, in the King Air or the Caravan that I plan to do more videos on. Those ones I've done the research where I've, you know, I've gotten suggested speeds based on weights and that kind of stuff, and then I've altered those speeds a little bit just for my own purpose. Um, here I'm, I'm doing it more because, um, I'm more comfortable doing it this way without the, uh, you do it this way because this is what some of the, um, um, charts say that you should do. So I'm 200, uh, looks, I'm looking like I'm in pretty good shape. I'm 15 miles out. I think I can actually see the runway over there. I'm, I'm probably a little off course. I'm probably going to take control of the aircraft shortly and turn myself in more in line. 
Um, so 241 is my heading. Um, probably going to turn over. And I, you can see I turn the manage mode off. And then, of course, I've turned my autopilot uh, heading bug over to 224. Um, and you can see that uh, as, as you look out there, out the windscreen, you can see that's the runway. And I'm probably, and I'm going to turn in onto it at 225, or 25, I think it is, is, is the actual runway. And I don't know the course, but I'll, I'll get it close. I've overshot a bit. Right, 11 miles out. Going to begin our, our slow down a bit. And I think I will descend to 25 now. Actually, I take that back, I'll go to two. Yeah, I'll go to two, I'm at 10 miles out. Now I'm I'm doing a lot of this stuff as you would expect it to to be done based on the autopilot system itself here, and that's because I've turned manage modes and all of that off, and I've got control of the throttle, I've got control of of the heading bug. So um, I'm going to. Uh, I'm pretty close to my target. I'm going to take it down. Keep coming down. I'm going to descend just a little bit quicker. So soon I'm going to actually remove autopilot because, again, this was not intended to do an ILS landing. This is intended to just show you how to get here, and I can see it. And I'm, and I'm probably going to be comfortable doing it myself or attempting to do it myself in A320. I haven't done a lot of it. I'm shutting off managed. I'm shutting off autopilot. Uh, now I am gear down. One more stage of flaps. Throttle is pulled right back. Trimming down just a bit. Let's make sure. Now we'll see if I if I actually know what I'm doing here, which I probably don't. I trimmed just a bit up. My nose to come up just a bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And I am a little quick. As I said, I wanted to be slower than this. Another stage of flap. A little throttle. Get that nose up. Got 500. I think I'm looking pretty good. And we're coming down. One forty looks good. Three hundred. And uh, throttle off. Just get myself lined up just a bit better. Um, but I should be good. I'm gonna probably be a little short. A little bit of flare. Brakes on. And we've arrived.
We'll clean up a bit. Turn our landing lights off. Taxi lights on. Roll up. As this is not a video to explain how to get to the gate and and procedures and, and stuff like that, I probably won't spend a lot of time in, in doing that. I will uh, just say that um, a couple things that I've been told. Uh, you shouldn't stop on the runway. Um, it's not, the runway is not intended to be a parking spot. You should try to roll off the runway um, and then once you're off the runway, you can do things like clean up and stuff like that. Keep in mind, uh, an A320 should have a co-pilot that would help do these things as the pilot was doing the rest of it, or vice versa, the co-pilot would be doing the taxiing and the, and the um, pilot would be doing the rest of it. One of the things that would be happening right now is the APU would be, be turned on. It would be getting ready to fire up so that you had APU power when you got to the gate. Um, and that kind of stuff that so that would be happening you would you know, as soon as you got off you'd start cleaning up their aircraft uh, ie um, putting the trim back and um, getting the flaps up and trying not to run over fuel trucks <laughs> that want to cut in front of you <laughs> anyways um, so you'd be doing those things and getting yourself ready uh, to get to the gate um, uh, so you can see that um, as we did everything, um, the system was not to show how to do an ILS landing or a completely controlled, computer controlled type landing. That was not my purpose. Uh, it was to get myself to the runway and then I was able to disable the managed system or the FMS system so that I could take control of certain aspects of the, air, of the aircraft, i.e. the throttle first, then the heading second, then the altitude third, um, and then later on take just complete, you know, um, full control and hand fly the remainder of it in. Um, I'm not sure if auto, if uh, A320 does that on a regular basis, but uh, that's the way I did it. Um, I will try to practice on doing a complete um, managed landing as well uh, but I want to do that a few times before I do that right so that's uh, that's the end of this uh, tutorial uh, and this series uh, the three series that that we saw how everything works uh, again it was intended to show that the air a320 the default a320 flies well it uh, it it manages and adheres to controls as you expect it to manage and adhere to you have some procedural things that you have to do in order for it to do what it's supposed to do um, I'll do more videos of a320 as I learn more interesting things um, and get better with it um, but this is what I know so far again this is for um, stream gamers uh, streaming on YouTube in conjunction with flyby wires uh, as I fly through flyby wires uh, and that's flyboys.net, uh, our small little group of guys. I'm intending to share this with them as well um, because I want them to see how to do it. Um, we've got a couple of really good guys here who know what they're doing. Um, this is just to help aid uh, their experience of FS or sorry of Microsoft Flight Simulator because it's been a bit of a struggle, I might say, uh, flying. Um, and it hasn't been as enjoyable as you would hope it to be because of some uh, anomalies that we don't know. Uh, and our little guy, come on, dude, put your arms up before I hit the... There we go. Do it, do it. Boom. We have arrived. That's us. Um... I'm just going to take a quick brief look around the aircraft to make sure that I've I've gone over everything that I needed to go over. And I think I have. We've got the park brake on. So I think um, I think that's us. I think we, we are here. I think we've arrived. 
Um, and um, I will shut it down here. I will say again, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe notification bell. Um, if you like, um, hit the like button. I would appreciate that. Uh, uh, if there's things that you can say or suggest that I should do differently, I would appreciate that in the comments. I will try to read them. And uh, you guys enjoy flying, enjoy gaming, and have fun. That's what this is all about. Um, and enjoy life. And, and that's me. All right. Bye-bye now.